how to integrate your chatbot to uh, Google Sheets and how do you want to add info and how do you want to take out info from the Google Sheets and how do you want to play around with this integration. So we'll do one with um, an event registration, for example, okay? So let's do a simple events registration. So if you can see over here, we're inside the dashboard and the, the, the flow here starts with a messenger ref URL. That means somebody clicks on this URL uh, and then, so this is on, uh, we can do this another time. But somebody clicks on this URL, you can share it anywhere and it will start and it will go here, right? So, so this is uh, just to do a simple registration so that we have all the info that is needed, right? So what info that is needed right now? So we open Google and we've already connected Google Sheets. We have four columns. Is a register name, RSVP name, email, and table number. So for this purpose, the most important is the register name and the table number, right? So in this situation, uh, the table numbers are only filled up the day before the event. So what we want is we want them to register and then um, the day before the event, the organizer will fill up all the table numbers manually and then right before they come in or right when they are at the door to check so what they can do is these guys will click on the link and then the chatbot will find out what number they are at and give them the number right so how do we do that so first of all we have to have um to get the to get the registered name right or some way to know that this person is um uh, how do uh, something unique about this person? It could be an IC, or it could be a code word, or it could be just hey, please enter your register name, right? So in this case, we're gonna hey enter your register name, so a name to register. Once that's done, then we're gonna have an action over here. The action is insert row. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a row into Google Sheets. So we're gonna pick the spreadsheet which we created just now. And we only have one worksheet inside there. And then after they've already keyed in their registered name, we want to pull, uh, push that information, which we have kept in inside registered name, into the column called registered name inside Google Sheets. So how that looks like is this. So if we go over here, we'll ask, hey, please enter. And then ask save response to a custom field. So inside the chatbot, it's called, it's, it's called registered name. We want to put that that side here inside this column called register name. All right, so we build that. Done. So once that's done, we have uh, an auto. Uh, it'll go to another message. It send a message. Says thank you, right? And uh, press button to get your table number. So this is just for the demo. In actual uh, fact, when you want to do it, instead of this message, you what you could do is you could put a uh, um, an action here to wait for the date, right? So the actual date of the event, you can put it over here in between these two uh, boxes so that it'll wait uh, uh, after the registration, it'll wait until the day, then it will send this number. And then you can say, hey, thank you, press this button to get your table number. So that you can automate that. All right, so once they click that, it will go inside this one here. It's just, just another message to continue press button they'll press this button and this action is quite important right so what this does is it resets all the information so that there is um, so that it's like a start from fresh right so we don't want any uh, table numbers because later on we don't want it that to put any information here and we want to also set this custom field called confirm name to nail Okay, why? It's because we want to ask them again, so uh, uh, the the name of the the you know the registered number, uh, the, the registered name, whether uh, is the same, right? So the first time, the second time, whether it's the same. So the first time we asked it, we saved it inside register name, and the second time we're gonna save it inside confirm name right over here. So we for now we've just cleared it so it's empty. Then we will ask, hey. Um, would you mm -hmm. please key in your register name? So basically for the user, they'll think, oh, I registered just now as Carl. 
now I want to you know, recompose this car. So you could use something else. It could be a code. It could be um, their IC or passport, something that is unique, right? So only that person knows. So if they fill in this unique thing, what's going to happen next is it's going to be a, another action. So this simple action is to get the row by the value, right? So now we have several values. We have the value of the name the first time and then the value of the name of the second time, right? Okay, so if we click this, it says get rows from the Google Sheets. Same spreadsheet, same worksheet. We're going to look up the column called register name because we already saved it here just now, okay? And now we're going to get a uh, uh, I, I cross-reference that with the new name. So we say the new name in the confirm name um, in the chatbot, and we're going to look up whether this name is the same as this name. Okay? So we're going to ask the bot, look up in this column, and what are we going to look out in this column? We're going to say, hey, look up for the value, this value inside this column. And then they ask you, hey, um, what is uh, what else do we want to put in, right? So is there anything else that we want to put inside here? So right here, what we want to do is we have table number as zero. So actually over here, we just don't want to do anything, right? So put it empty over there. And then you see that. Okay, so nothing happens. It just confirms. Oh, actually we do want to keep. We want to now save the value, of course. Of course we want to save the value. Okay. So, what we've done over here is, now and this is happening the day before the event. So what we want now is we want the chatbot to take a look at this person over here, and then take a look at the number and save this and remember this number. So how do we save this number? We create another um, field inside the chatbot over here. We call it table number, this is the field. So this is a field, and then this is what when they check in the columns, these are the four columns. So we say, hey, whatever's in this column, please save it inside here, right? So table number. Save it inside table number because we want to use this inside the chatbot later on. So we save that. Great. Next, we have a condition. So we created a condition saying, okay, chatbot, if the confirm name is equals to register name. So the confirm name they just gave earlier. I mean, just uh, in this flow, the register name is when they registered. So if it's both the same, then if it's agree, yes, we want to send them this, uh, do an action, and then we give them this information. And if it's not the same, so it means it's a different person or um, it is empty, Right, the register name is empty. That means they didn't register yet. We want to send them this message. Dear sir or madam, I'm sorry. The system cannot find your name. Please go to the number. Right? And then, if of course, it did register, the information that we're going to show is we're going to print out this information. So this is just for us, for the admin. We'll delete this later. Right? Um, this is, of course, test for your RSVP first name. And then below is the table for 40 under 40. Your table number is this, blah, 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 blah. Right, so we can use all this information that we've gotten and saved and use it for whatever purpose that we need. Okay, so let's publish this and let's try it out. Okay, so click this one to view. Okay, now, of course, first thing is enter register names. Let's pretend that this is the a week before I'm registering, so I just done the, the name Carl. So let's just check our sheet right now. Our sheet is there's two late lines, and then let's just delete this so that I don't know, see that it is. So it's empty there, and let's uh, I have my name Carl over there, and then I did yes, done. Okay, so. When you're actually doing this, you want to do a smart um, pause, right? Smart delay, so only delay for until the day of the actual event. Then only send this message, which says, 
a just a reminder today is a thing press the button to get data okay you can do that now of course before this is launched you see in the google sheets my name is here right so for this workflow for the table numbers they can only know the table numbers the day of or the day before right so let's put mine as 1000 and then just change all these numbers or it's all filled up okay once they've already filled that up me the user on the day off will get this message hey it's a reminder you want to get a table number yes so i'll get my table number And it says welcome to 40 under 40, right? So whatever you the text you can change, press the button to continue. And this is where the chatbot will go inside. Or oh, well, first it ask my name, right? To to confirm or the password or the unique identifier. And then they'll find this unique identifier inside the Google Sheets and then match it with what is the table number that we put earlier. So we can see here, this is just for us, right? Of course we're gonna delete this, but just to show you that we can print back all the saved information back to the user and show them hey you um you know you already gave us your register names just now you have the full name it's your table number you can use it for whatever purpose that you want all right hope that helps thank you so much guys i'll catch you the next video